So this is a video to show you that it is possible to take a seven week, eight week old baby on a sailing boat trip. Here we are in the British Persian Islands right now and uh, here is our baby. Samuel. He's made it successfully through a whole week. So we're going to show you what we did to uh, pull it off. Probably the best thing you can do is get what's called a bouncy chair. Here's Sam in the bouncy chair. It's got a vibrating feature on it, and you can just push it. It can when the when the waves bounce the boat around, it just sort of absorbs it all. And this really kept him quiet more than anything else. Uh, I think this is probably our number one suggestion for what to bring on a sailing or on a boat trip with a baby. Now, one of the great things about this bouncy chair is that it's portable, so you can take it to dinner with you, put it down beside your chair, and put him in it, to, or her, and uh, and then they can sort of hang out with you at dinner and sort of be amused to some degree. Um, something that we brought along with us as well is a UV filter screen. So it's really nice to keep the flies off the baby, and it also it's really nice to the bouncy chair and protect them from UV rays so that they don't get a sunburn. Speaking of sunburns, you're going to want to make sure you bring some baby sunscreen. But we probably don't have to tell you that. Another great thing to bring is an inflatable bathtub. Uh, it place on the bottom and the side. You can probably float this in the water. We haven't tried that. But uh, you're going to want to use this to keep them clean because obviously the salt water isn't, isn't great for washing. Um, so what I'm doing is just filling up with water right now, and then I'll put it in the sun to heat it up. All right. So giving the baby a bath. So this holder is great because when babies are really young, they're not able to hold their heads up on their own. So this helps keep his head out of the water, but the rest of his body gets submerged. It's really important though if you use one of these to supervise your baby, don't leave them. Well, you shouldn't leave them in a bath regardless without supervision. Um, there's no air conditioning on a lot of boats, so this is one way to really help keep your baby cool because in a hot climate like this, babies have trouble with um, regulating their body temperature. So this just helps. You put them in here and you just get them wet and it will help cool them down. You probably have a portable change pad. In case you don't, it's definitely a necessity for changing on a boat. Here's Sam and his, uh, he doesn't like it. Does that get Nope. <laughs> Hopefully he'll grow to like it. It looks pretty funny though. Maybe we can look at Nope. That didn't work. So right now we're in some high winds. The boat is bouncing like crazy. And uh, we have a nearly sleeping baby here. And here's how we've done it. We've got a little sleeping cage thing. He's just waking up right now. <laughs> and uh, you can see it just stops him from walking around a little bit. He can't roll yet, so it does a good job of holding him in place. Everybody's got their sails up.